Hey Team EQRC, Coach Wes here for a quick Sunday video message. And we're coming off of a week in which we split up our teams and the Long Beach Half Marathon crew ran one route that was seven miles on a flat road, whereas the San Francisco training group did seven miles of hills. And we're going to keep that pattern this week and I want to give you guys a brief understanding of why. It goes without saying that the San Francisco Nike Women's Half Marathon is going to contain a little bit more hills than the Long Beach Half Marathon. And I want those of you that are training for the Nike Women's Half Marathon to be ready for those hills. So this coming Saturday, you guys are going to do Newport Coast Drive, but you're going to stay on that road and run the route twice. The reason for that is I really want you guys to train both the uphill and the downhill. The downhill, you'll end up using your legs like brakes on a car. And I want to establish a little bit of neuromuscular education on how to stride efficiently, how to keep a good pace, and how to really to work the downhill so that your legs are doing the work and not the rest of the joints of your body. The goal won't be to hold a specific speed, but just to really work on the mechanics. So again, for the San Francisco group, you guys are going to do Newport Coast Drive twice. For the Long Beach training group, I want you to work a little bit more flat road. So you guys will start at the top of Newport Coast Drive, run down San Joaquin, down Marguerite, out PCH, and then back up Newport Coast Drive. Now that's not going to be an easy way to finish. It's going to be a mile and a half of uphill at the end of your seven mile run. But I think it'll be a great way to kind of take your training to the next level and hopefully mentally to serve as a way to get you even more prepared for what the Long Beach Half Marathon is going to have in store. So that's what this week holds on Saturday. Thursday's workout is going to be a workout that we call Incomplete Recovery, where we do an endurance workout with a couple speed bursts involved. Both of these workouts, really, really good ways to harness some of that anaerobic uh, strength that you guys have been developing in the last couple weeks. One other thing that I wanted to talk about this week was nutrition, and that's really what's going to benefit you the most in between workouts and get you ready for both Thursday and Saturday's workout. Now, we all know that we're breaking down our muscles during the workout, and we need to build them back up right afterward, and that's really where nutrition can play a huge role. And I just want to give you some ideas and more than anything, just start the discussion here. So what I find works best for me is whole foods, that are as simple in nature as possible. I've attached to this email a couple pictures of what's inside my fridge and in our pantry, and I'm, this is actually a project I'm doing with another friend of mine, but hopefully it can help give you guys ideas of what maybe you could eat and can lead the discussion towards how do you prepare it, uh, what pairs best, things of that nature. And I by no means is, am the uh, keeper of all information, so make sure you ask your teammates about what works best for them. But for me, I find from a carbohydrate standpoint, really whole foods in the sense of vegetables, fruits, beans, legumes, um, couscous, quinoa, rice, things of that nature, that's really what works best for me. From a protein standpoint, lean proteins are always the best thing. You want to really try and keep your fat intake a little bit lower when you're taking in your protein and carbs because it's easier to digest those foods then. And lean proteins would include fish, poultry, and any types of lean meats. So that would be my biggest suggestion. Now, by no means do you need to cut the fats out, but just take them in in the form, form of simple and healthy fats, things that are unsaturated in nature, things that might be a little bit more nut and soy-based and rather than animal-based types of fats. So hopefully that gives you just a brief idea of how, uh, how best, best to tackle this complex issue of nutrition, but let's just keep the uh, conversation going from here. In subsequent weeks, we'll really talk about nutrition and how it can best be utilized for performance, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what to do on the day-to-day -day basis. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm really looking forward to this week. I think it'll be another great week for us. I know it'll be a challenging week, but a successful week and a week that you really feel accomplished. I look forward to seeing you guys on Thursday. Have a good rest of your week.